you rode your horse into town to the bar because you didn't want to drive home drunk and you knew you could take the back streets with your horsey. So you get him to the bar and you hook him up and you're like, what knot should I tie? Oh, you might have brought too big of a rope for your horse. <laughs> if that's the case, just give him a lemon and he'll be good. Whoa, whoa, horsey, <laughs> whoa. We might have to get a slightly better knot on him. So, we'll use the clove hitch to hook him up. Because it's easy, it won't get too tight. So we throw the rope over the post and let it cross in front of itself. And then we throw it back over the post. And now we've created a, a new hole here by throwing it over the post. So we shove it through the new hole. <clears throat> That's what she said. <clears throat> and then if you have a wild horse like I do, you're going to want to safety this. So you just go around the back of it and then through the new little hole that you made right there. and <whistles> Bam. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. See? Sit. With this. Have some licks. He's good. Now you can go get hammied in the bar. And this will be easy to untie when you get back out. I want to ride him home. So you just pull up to the rope, you like just push it back out to the little hole, and then just shove it back out this little hole. Oh, oh! Your horsey might have had a few too many too. So you get that untied and unhook your horsey. Make sure you got a hold of his mane before you let him go. Alright? And you just drop that big rope off the cliff there. and. On you go.